Hi guys, I'm really ill. We're in a yellow warning heat wave, but nonetheless, for you guys, welcome to another video. And today we're visiting an area which is often considered to be the preserve of the serious rock climbers, those guys with ropes. Uh, but I'm going to show you an easy scramble for trainee cragsmen. And of course, trainee crags women. And our destination is up there, Dell Crag. Because of this yellow heat warning combined with the threat of thunderstorms, I set off really early this morning. I'd also like to try and avoid the threat of the public as well. Um, I drove uh, up to Coniston and then followed the lane to the, as far as you can go, up the old Warner Scar Road, an ancient road, and parked in the car park there. £8.50 for the day. Unbelievable. Uh, there is a £4.50 option for four hours, which of course is of no use to man nor beast. Uh, I then set off on foot up Walderscar Road, the non-vehicular bit of it, and turned right onto the trade route that takes you up onto the ridge via Goat's Water. And I've already encountered some of the snobbery that this vlog is about avoiding. As I was filming the outro back there, some chaps came up to me and asked me what I was filming. I told them I was doing a scramble up Dow Crag. Their faces, they looked at me with utter contempt and uh, made me aware that they had ropes and were doing the main buttress. As well as the route, I'll share some other tips with you. Even on a hot day like this, it's really important to have a good breakfast. I had a scrambled egg a three scrambled egg breakfast. And uh, you are gonna need it. The energy you're gonna burn on this scramble uh, must not be underestimated. Once Goat's Water Tarn comes into close view, that is the point where you leave this, the trade route, and take this left turn here, which drops you down uh, onto this boulder field at the bottom end. The trade route is over there. Goat's Water Tarn should be on your right in order to reach our destination. This seems like a good place to stop and just have a chat with you about uh, the names of the climbing routes on Dow Crag. And we are referring to that doyen of the Lake District, Alfred Wainwright. We'll put up some sort of overlay. I'll talk you through them. Uh, so number one is Easy Gully. Uh, he talks about that being an ironic name because it isn't easy. Great Gully, Central Chimney, the Intermediate Gully, and then Easter Gully. For some reason, all of a sudden, uh, we've got one called Easter Gully. Then North Gully, and the final one is East Terrace. Now, Alfred makes the point that uh, these are only suitable for Cragsman, this term that he's coined and that we've suitably updated to include Crags women for modern sensibilities. That's the serious climbing routes according to Alfred Wainwright, but he points out that uh, there is a way for scrambling hikers and it is up here. I don't know if you can see, well you can't see it, it's sort of running up that way there. And uh, it was nameless at the time Alfred wrote the pictorial guide, so he called it the Self Rake, and of course because of his incredible influence that name has stuck. It is a shame really that Alfred got here before us, because uh, if we'd discovered this route it would have no doubt been named the WC21 UK Productions Limited Rake. There is actually a well-worn path now on this side of the tarn, and uh, our route takes us across this boulder field, and then it's a scree slope scramble uh, across there. I don't know if you'll be able to see there's a blue box uh, there at the bottom of that cliff face, and that's what I always aim for. There are sort of worn paths across the scree, as you can see here, uh, but inevitably they tend to sort of peter out, and you have to freeform if that's the right word. Just remember, keep the blue stretcher box in sight. 
if you get across the scree to that point, then you're going to be on track. That does look appealing today. So we've crossed the scree and reached the stretcher box here which gives you some idea of what we're up against. We're at the base of the rock face that we looked at earlier with Impossible Gully, Terror Gully, etc, uh, etc. Et but our scrambling route is this way up the self rake. And I was cheating as usual in that last shot because all the gear was already here. And over here we have some serious rock climbers and they are doing I think, did you call it Morgan's? Murray's, Ma Murray's route. Without further ado, let's get on with this. And uh, just to confirm, those climbers back there were really nice guys. They weren't the, ooh, we're doing the big buttress guys that I mentioned earlier. As we approach the self rake, we get the chance to look up some of these gullies that are only suitable for serious rock climber types. And that one, I think I can't remember, I think that one's called Absolutely Terrifying Gully. Our scrambling route, the self rake, lies this away. And here it is, the self rake. Sorry about my sweaty face and uh, really sweaty back, which might make an appearance or two in this vlog. Once you get to the bottom of the self rake, you've got a choice you can uh, scramble in the sort of scree field channel at the bottom, or you can pick your way up the sides using firmer rocks. I recommend the latter, but it's a free country, so do what you like. I think that one is easy gully. The temperature is amazing. I think we must be up to about, oh, it must be at least about 42 degrees. This is the problem that you face. It uh, does funnel you a little bit as you get higher up. And, you, and as a result of that, you get forced a little bit into the shaley middle of the rake. But what can I say? If pipe smoking Alfred Wainwright can do this, then I'm sure to hell you can. You get squeezed here into this narrow groove uh, but it's not insurmountable even when you're holding a camera <laughs> just before i top the ridge at the top of self rake I like to have a little rest here, away from the public areas. So I think it's actually an excellent introduction uh, for anybody who is considering becoming a crags man or a crags woman. It's then just a short pull up to the summit of Dell Crag once you've done self rake. I have to say I'm feeling a bit weird. I think I've got heat stroke or heat sickness or whatever it's uh, called. But uh, anyway, it was still a lot of fun. Let's crack on and summit this thing. Walking along the ridge, you get the opportunity to look down some of those uh, gullies of fear that we talked about on the way up. I think this is the top of uh, the ironically named Easy Gully. And as you can see, it's got that amazing uh, rock window there. If I wasn't suffering from uh, heat stroke, I'd go and do a sort of cinematic shot through that. But as it is, I'm not going to. And uh, there's our destination, the summit of Dow Crag. Do you think WC21 UK Productions Limited rake as a replacement for self rake will catch on? Yeah. 
there you have it, an alternative route via the self rake to get up Dale Crag without ropes and paraphernalia. So a real true scrambler's route, scrambler's option. Sorry if I've been a bit weird in the last uh, few bits, but uh, the heat has really got to me and I am feeling slightly odd. So that's the end. Uh, scu excuse me, I better have a drink. Hang on. I just uh, feel a bit disorientated. The heat heat's, uh, has got to my head a bit. Uh, make sure you like and notify and then you won't miss out on another subscription. And uh, till next week, uh, stay tuned. Thank you.